I'd like uh, Jody and Trevor if you can go by the RGH and uh, let me know. You know, I wanted to be a cop since I was five. I literally, my whole life, all I wanted to be was a police officer, an RCMP officer. You can bleep that out if you want. Uh, but that was, I grew up on a farm in rural Saskatchewan and that's all I wanted to be. Um, and I got a pretty good indication at the end of high school that it wasn't going to happen immediately, that I wasn't going to get accepted into the RCMP. And so they basically said, don't put your life on hold. You should get some experience, you know, do something else. I had a a guidance counselor at work that said, well, you like to talk, maybe you should uh, go into broadcasting. And he pushed me into a, a radio school that I, I did. And then I went into radio and worked in radio and a little bit in, in TV. Maybe sounds corny, but I've heard it said many times, policing is a bit of a calling. Like people either, it's something that you are drawn to and you decide this is what I want to do or, or not. Um, it's certainly been that way for me. And I, and I have not uh, regretted one step of it. It's been absolutely outstanding. I'm so pr I'm humbled every day by our, our cops. You know, I think I think the last few years have been tough on policing. And I feel it the most through through our cops because it's, um, it's not an easy job and you're often being asked to make tough decisions. And these people who I consider to be like brothers and sisters are doing it day in and day out and doing it without fail and doing it with pride. And uh, I'm proud. I think you can see that. I'm proud of them. So you have to take care of them. And, and they need to know that you're taking care of them. They need to know that you're making it a priority. Uh, sorry about the burst of emotion. Uh, for the people that I work with, they know that's, I'm a bit of a teddy bear sometimes, so that happens.